Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial from the Smokeweed Brothers and today I'm gonna show you how to make a sweet animation with Nitro Blast. Just some basic thing and yeah with some post productions I think it will be in uploaded in two parts. Yeah, okay. First I have to set up my render settings. Okay, looks great. Okay, let's get started. We start with a cube. Okay, resize it a bit. And go to segments and turn this up so we have more polygons. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so if you have Nitro Blast, go to the plugins folder and go to Nitro Blast. And Nitro Blast main. Oh, it disappears. So here can you set up? You can set up like how many pieces you want and the quality of this shit and yeah. So I would say let's take thousand or thousand. Yeah, I would looking good. Nah. Okay, it's just click fracture and yeah, it's breaking the cube. Okay, so here's our object. And here we have the parts. Okay, let's go. Mic and floor. Oh, wait. Make an. Make an disk. Like this. Resize it that it fits the cube. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so right click simulation tags, collision, collide, collide. Well, I don't know what this means in, in, in America or in England, but in Germany it's called collision. I think you know what I mean. Um, yeah, this. What the fuck? I don't know what this means. Ah, okay, okay, relax. Okay. So if we play, you can see the cube falls down and crashes on the ground. Pretty sweet, isn't it? It's, it's sweet. And why are these pieces falling down? Ah, well, I don't know. Okay, I would say drag this up and increase the size of the disk. Okay, and yo, let's, let's have a look in the materials. I would say take a light gray. Okay, looking good. And this should be the same color. So, a bit lighter. Okay. And yeah, let's make a light setup. First, create a new material. Double click. And make this white. Completely white. And yeah, just turn off this. Wait a second. Okay. Um, after that, drag into the drag this material on the disk, and uh, have a look. I would say make this a bit darker. Okay, okay, like this. Okay, looking good, looking good. So we make a light setup now, and that's gonna be very interesting. And we use global illumination and ambient occlusion so let's go in the render tab go to effects and choose global illumination and ambient occlusion okay go to global illumination irradiance cache and here in this I don't know what this means in English but go to 
minimum minus four and max minus two okay um you can see okay so let's make some lights create a light and go in this tab here and we make an array yeah just pull the slide under this array and we have a um, light circle yeah <laughs> okay I know this sounds stupid but it's like it is okay wait uh, just increase this okay so go to the light and go to shadow shadow maps and make it soft well, go to shadows and make this to about 750 and 750 okay so this should be very good Looking good Okay, so just zoom in and hit the render button. Let's have a look. I would say this looks fucking amazing. So um, go to this tab here and make a background and just drag the material from the disk on the background. Okay, I uh, have a look, just make this on no wait. Okay now. <coughs> You see, and it it's render pretty fast. This is uh, it's, it's pretty much amazing. Okay. You see, we have a white background. And yeah. Okay. Um, I would say the lights could turn the lights a bit, the intensity a bit down. Uh, Make it fifty. A bit more. Okay. Should be good. Wait. Copies. Maybe five. Okay. So we have decent shadows. Okay. So first we have this thing, this cube, and then. It falls to the ground and breaks in 999 pieces. And yeah, we could make a camera animation. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, go in this tab here and make a camera. Click on this thing, yeah, and zoom out. This thing means that you're in the camera. Sorry for my TH. <coughs> okay. Um, I would say we start in this perspective. Like this. Just make a keyframe. Make sure you select the camera as well. Uh, I know you can't scrub through if there is a rigid body or something like this. <laughs> so after the break we should zoom a bit out and make this up here so with some right I will turn this up okay
So we have a nice little zoom out. And if we turn it on, see, right, let's render this. I could make the materials a bit lighter like this. Okay. So we have our animation and this just falls over the ground and uh, nah, you know. So let's take fifty frames. Means we have a three second animation and yeah. Just render it in which format you want. Okay, here we go. Uh, save this, render this, and we see in let's say 15 minutes. Okay, bye.